Bruce Lee on Beck and Feet. Are you criminally insane, mentally ill, psychotic, sociopathic, or just downright strange? Well, move to Beckingville. You'll fit right in here. Many of the residents of Beckingfield have been participating in this video diary project. The On The Map Project. People are listening, watching, and trying to grasp, gather, and understand the true nature of what's going on here in Beckingfield. When the winter comes, a cold and snowy winter, even in the old Beckingfield, the troubles come along. A few items of note that have taken place in the last week here in Beckenfield. There was a decent size, say, 45-60 second shake-up of tectonic plates. Oh, jeez, oh, what the... We had a massive earthquake. Earthquake! Beckenfield experienced yet another earthquake. Everything was shaking around and stuff, you know, it was kind of going a little crazy. It was interesting to see how the locals responded. And it was structured around that tetrahedron type of thing that is in the middle of here in the field of Beckon. The, tete, the tetrahedron <laughs> pyramid out there in the field of Beckon, it was sinking. It's sinking into the ground each and every week. It, it sank probably about a good, I don't know, what, 20 feet or so? It's caving in on itself. I mean, it just... Whoa. What next? The whole field of Beckon is just gonna cave in on us? Hmm. Maybe that's what Beck is warning us about. Keep your eyes and ears open, folks, because Beck is back. There is a young lady of a ghost called Becca, and she is having a screaming fit. I wasn't losing my mind. It really was a ghost, and other people have seen it too. I heard that Becca Beckin's ghost has been appearing again, and I don't want anything to do with that. That kind of stuff just freaks me out. She nearly burst my eardrums with a blood-curdling scream. <coughs> Becca, Becca is trying to tell us something. And not only is she having a screaming fit, she is winging books at people. But why is she so upset now? I wonder if it has anything to do with the tetrahedron sinking. You know, for someone who's been dead for a while, that girl has an arm on her. Oh my god, I'm out of here. I think before I head out to the library, I'm going to go over to the Beaconfield hardware store. And I'm going to get me some earplugs, I'm going to get me a hard hat, and I might even get a pair of goggles. Beaconfield is safe from ghosts. We have about 17 paranormal investigators to every known werewolf. Hmm. You'd think with that many spook chasers living here, there would be a lot less strange happenings, huh?